Man, I'm pushed. I got no motivation at all. And Monophony's period is late, too. Um. Father, why do you know Monophony's cycle? And another Never mind that. Perhaps his lack of motivation is due to lack of hibernation. Yeah. Lack of hibernation. Yeah. yeah. I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. It's because you. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Uh, hmm? uh, is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? It's true. Uh, really? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Uh, uh, is it because you want to stay friends? Uh, uh, is it because you want to watch it in real time? Uh, Father? He's gone in. He's gone in hibernation. We should let him be. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Night night. He just got a fucking vacation. Yeah, maybe this person won't die. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's resume. We know the loop. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. We spend another like hour. My head. We spend like another hour finding out some obvious shit. Then the killer just steps forward. Like, fine, okay, I killed her. Just stop this class <laughs> trial. Oh my head. Mono kid. <laughs> my head. My head hurts so much. I just can't remember. Have you forgotten? Maybe that's for the best. From this point forward, let's start a new life for ourselves. After all, our baby is excited oh, to meet his daddy, you know? This is incest. What the f daddy? Wait, what? I'm gonna be a father? Father. What are we doing again? Oh god, no, not this shit. What a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. After it, like, after the brutal execution, he goes like, called it! <laughs> More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. <laughs> let's see. You manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. Are we watching the same cutscene again? Of her pushing the bridge into the river? Yeah. Oops, my hand slipped. <laughs> That's gonna mess up the time sink, Steve. <laughs> yeah. So she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Now, I know there might be some audio desync sometimes, but Steven actually did just know it beforehand, what she was gonna say. And took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet up, the mansion's rooftop. Oh, yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time, too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when culprit kill her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. 
She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. <laughs> She's one of the smarter characters here. Yeah, sh you such a mouse smart, movie. But she was also really, really dumb. Hey, Mika. Girl. No say such mean things. It's true. <laughs> Chilling game bad. Not Mew. Both actually. Yeah. Mew not bad person. Going to think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult. <laughs> even without this killing game. That wouldn't happen. Nuh uh. No way, Jose. Josie. Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. <laughs> if Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion, the culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. Then you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Oh, the mat they put on top of the roof and slid it down. <laughs> to make it look like he fell, I guess, and the phone and hammer dropped out. Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her. <laughs> oh. No, you couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. What that? I thought that was him confessing. <laughs> physical strength equalized? He was just saying he didn't. Oh, okay. That problem. Going to no can protect everyone if that happens. Look around to Mew because he got equalized. Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Do they have a concept of that as well? Yeah, the intermission. Oh. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard. Mm. Bang. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh, what? What's that sound? Can we stop killing because of that sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there. Right? If so, then I think that <laughs> sound so and Steve. her avatar being by the chapel are related. What? Not like I want to uh, keep your theory going or anything, but what what are the two different uh, ways someone can be defined? Um, an object and a human. And Kibo is, is an object. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. Might be the clue we need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... Uh, the lattice hitting the wall. Fuck. It was the bottom one. Shit. Maybe the last... Oh, yeah. Mew hitting the wall? Yeah. I think the lattice me. Oh, and the lattice oh, fell oh. off of the. Yeah, everyone's there. I mean, here. Yep. Sorry yeah. about that, everyone. And it was my fault. That's it. Okay. I was thinking to step ahead again. I'm still on the loop. Sorry. What's that? Avatar hitting the chapel wall. <laughs> the hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. <laughs> If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. Wait, right, then the only person that could have gone to the roof is Kokichi. Like, I'm doubtful because he wanted to be on with killer. So it's Gonta. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> he felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. Unless you know my theory still holds some ground. <laughs> we gotta. Did we just swap theories? <laughs> Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Yes. Yeah. Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? 
Why are you talking like you know everything? He does, it's yeah. obvious. Let's not worry about that right now. He's literally us at this point. <laughs> More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. You guys wondering what he's playing too. <laughs> friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? No. A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Give Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion's roof. There's only one way I can think of how to do that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you a little. No need. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up. Yes. Right? Yeah. Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. Uh huh. And the slope faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. So is it is Kiki the new main character? I'm not. I'm not following. What's the hint? <laughs> yeah, there's snow. If the culprit needed force if, to move the body, roofs that I were needed snow. How they did it. Thank you. <laughs> we agreed. I did. Koki is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion. Screw his logic. I'll figure out my own. I'm going to find the answer. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, sled. The, the roof. roof. Down the roof. Down the roof. Okay. Oh roof. my god. Roof the down. Sled. Slid. Yeah. Yeah. Slid. What's the... Oh, hey, Monokuma. Yeah. Yeah, oh. hey, not Monokuma. Slid off. Slid off roof. Up, 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 up. Oh, okay. okay. Find, find your own. Screw my logic. Slid off roof. There's no better correct way to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Slid the roof. roof as a slide for Muse Avatar. Okay, that one was only ten minutes. Slide? Ah man, even with the slope and the snow, Muse body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. Yes. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. You guys did not go to the crime scene, I see. Yeah. No, no, nobody bothered, uh... <laughs> nobody would mean Kokichi bothered slide. looking around? Just like Maki Roll said. It would slide. Just like Shumai said. What? Who the hell is Shumai? Shuichi. Oh, he's a pupil of Ramen Man. Uh, sorry. My hobby slipped in. Yeah. I pause that that that's how Muse bot Avatar was moved, but maybe the culprit used something else as well to help her body slide. It's getting kinda of hard to root for the good guys when the bad guy is one of the only other smart ones. Yeah. This thing is with you a little too long, or is it? The poison a bottle. Yep, sign <laughs> used as a bridge. Slid her right down on that cell phone. It's not possible. You just well, duh, it would. Wish, 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 wish. Crash. What happened? It built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on roof. But not frozen solid, right? It wasn't frozen. You still slide, though. Boy, 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 boy. <laughs> in the real world, it might be difficult. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. Well, like, that's not the issue. Physics. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. Why the fuck isn't this? There was nothing like that around, though. There it is. Yeah. Let's do it. If you wanted to move by down, how would you do it? I was completely zoned out. <laughs> <laughs> it's late, and this case has not been interesting this yet. This case has knocked off three of my IQ points. <laughs> we were so fucking excited for it. There was nothing like that around, though. <laughs> this is absolutely obliterated, Kaito. You're fucking wrong. Fuck off already. <laughs> I'm not maxing you out anymore. No, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Mew's body. <laughs> 
split it right down on the disc. That was found by Muse Avatar. So, what the fuck were you for there for? Yeah. The culprit later on top of that. Himiko isn't even looking at the crime scene. Neither is Kibo. Kokichi wasn't even here. Correct. And he figured it fucking out. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. Didn't he say his memory's not that good, so he didn't remember what was different about the room? Because I, I feel like something's different. Yeah, you and I were like, yeah, it's gone. Then that's it. The culprit used the lattice as a sled. Correct. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. All right, okay, give us the next challenge. Yeah, come on. I'm ready. I'm waiting for one to actually trick us up and everyone else be like, they're fucking idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, high-end graphics. <laughs> so we can see it real time. And slid her down the roof steep slope. We sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. Why did they hang on that for like three because seconds? Because of the fucking loading. Uh, like, yeah, it's it's still loading. loading. All of her belongings scattered, including the hammer and cell phone. <laughs> did you see that Just shit? It's like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. Luigi. Oh, I, I don't follow. Oh. I, I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate that hedgehog. All right. Didn't think Sonic the Hedgehog would be the one to get him, uh... You wanna say something? I was just saying, I didn't think it'd be Sonic the Hedgehog to get him his, uh, mojo back. Oh, God. The baby's birth, and it has to be one in the next trial. He's gonna be the one to die. Yeah. Now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Here goes that. Are you interested in that part? Yeah, I guess I'm Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? The culprit? Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed Mew. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Which leads me to believe it's the other group. <laughs> Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gonta. I'm missing someone. <laughs> That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Smoogie, Gonta, Kokiki, and Kaito. And everyone has alibis, except for me. <laughs> we don't know enough to name the culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. When we were talking about the rooftop, they clearly lied. But what reason would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. So... I fucking missed him. Or is it? <laughs> yeah, was... it, 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 we had to question him for a bit. Yeah. It's you. Yeah. Because he's lied. If the door was locked, Kokichi, then we're wondering. There's something I need to know. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. Hmm. What do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, <laughs> Shuichi? I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. By line. <laughs> also, I never went onto the roof. Not even for the meeting. It all began when you showed us the map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. It was that testimony that bothered me. What is this one? Question. 
It all began when Muse showed up, showed us the map. Okay, so let, let's think about it because it was the three statements. So, what were the three again? Um, the culprit killed on the roof. I never showed up to the roof. Yeah, right? I'm thinking it's, it's a top middle one. Yeah, that's, a, that's probably what happened. Yeah, so the culprit on the roof. Okay, this is just horrible. Okay, yeah, this, this, is, this is a very uh, singular. It's fine. It's fine. I know how to do this. I don't believe you. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meme. I think it's that yes, one. Yes, I, I also think it's that one. And not the left one to the backup. I'm assuming, yep. Yep, I got it. Yeah, the, it all began. It was just about her trap. When you were explaining mm -hmm. that the door to the roof was locked, you said... It'll be when she showed us the map. Also, I never went onto the roof. Not even for the meeting. But later, you said... I killed Mew. Since the mansion was on top of the hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. And the slope faced the chapel wall. And on top of that, there was snow on the roof. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? I was saying that too. Totally. You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion. But you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Why wouldn't there be one? <laughs> huh? huh? Wh wh what? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? Are you actually the obvious killer and the killer? <laughs> I, 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 I just didn't. I already told you that before. He's lying. Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? <laughs> exactly my thoughts. But there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. But wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. <laughs> Why am I still next to him? <laughs> At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. Ooh, you so clumsy girl. <laughs> Gotta be more careful there, Himiko. Is it my fault? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Himiko really say that? She totally said that. In my head. <laughs> yeah. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She did not. Uh oh. Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. All right, Steve. Uh, bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> what a worthless fight! Stop him, Grandpa! All oh, this terrible fighting is bad for the baby. Yeah, Grandfather. Stop them before your grandkid is born. I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it. So damn stubborn. How much longer are you going to behave like this? We don't have time for this. <laughs> Everyone just lying, you know, move on. But Kokiki is stubborn. He won't fess up no matter what. Oh, he's being that stubborn. It makes me think he has something to hide. To, to get him to show his hand, I had to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but I had to be aggressive. We don't get the whole truth now. Everyone's lives are, on, are in danger. Okay, so what do we got? Cell phone, Kokichi in the salon. I didn't go to the roof. This messed up already. I've had enough of your lies, man. Okay, so let me just check this quickly because Kokichi agreed to meet up with Mew on the rooftop, but because the door on the rooftop was locked, he couldn't. Because of that, he returned to the salon and decided to search there. There are no witnesses who can confirm whether or not Kokichi was. So we might have to just lie here. Yeah. I'm not lying. Are you done arguing yet? The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it. That's enough lies. So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Okay, okay. Fire's burning hell, you know? This place is already hell. <laughs> if you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> That's fine, because I'm not lying. Give it, give it, give it. Then why do you look so nervous? 
He'll kick you his line for sure, but if he keeps throwing lines at me, I had to fight fire with fire. I, guess so. I didn't go to the rift. I didn't go to the rift. <laughs> I'm not lying. We're not arguing yet. <laughs> the rooftop door was locked. I love your I one word fast forwards. <laughs> yeah. So so what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. I'm gonna lie. And stayed in the. Yeah. Yeah. I'll reveal the truth. Perjury. <laughs> Does this count? <laughs> Does this count as the truth? Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Yep. Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you, but you weren't there. What? Really? <laughs> I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Smokey, don't blow it. <laughs> Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? I see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? <laughs> so who are you guys gonna believe? Shuichi or me? Shuichi. <laughs> well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi. He lied. Yeah. I believe Shuichi 100%. The one who's not Kokichi. Meh. <laughs> Hundred house points. No. Himiko points. Two Shuichi. Oh, finally, he did it. A, ho a Harry Potter reference. <laughs> but to go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass I, by me in the uh, dining room. I oh, damn it, dude. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. I'm too busy looking at Mew. <laughs> oh my god. You people are fucking dumb and deserve death. Except for Kokiki. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi. And I guess Shuichi because he's actually smart. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. Also, here we go because I like her. <laughs> what comes around goes around. I also cut out how to cool like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for <laughs> lies. You know? Uh, sure. Yeah. It makes more interesting. And some of them are only white lies. What is that supposed it's to mean? Lies to be kind to people. <laughs> if you deny all of that just because it's a lie, then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to. Seriously, the worst. It's a strange face you to have. You spit it out line. already. You went to the roof, didn't you? Yes. Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. Probably. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider <laughs> this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna Oops. take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. Well, we're friends. You got some balls lying to me. <laughs> it's high noon. Let you do any detective work or deduction or mystery solving or anything. So is the game just over? Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? <laughs> so you are the culprit after all. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone look at the screen at the top for a moment. And you... She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. Good. On me, no less. The why me? <laughs> when I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. That's also why I work together with Monokuma. You work together with Monokuma? Yeah, it makes sense. <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. We made Monotaro kill her. <laughs> Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive Yeah, what was that motive, by the way? Simulator. What was his third game's motive? Third trial? <laughs> you added a motive? 
then the secret of the outside world is the motive. Right? Yes. No fair. Monokuma can't take sides. I agree with Gonta. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself. He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted. And it was his idea. Mm -hmm. Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Oh, an Anton. <laughs> Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. That's kind of a letdown. I was really hoping it was going to. Really? Oh, the old guy. <laughs> I mean, he probably didn't do I it. Told you, I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery. He's not gonna He's confess to the murder. Yeah, he probably just knows who died. If I can't it. win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's well, maybe it wasn't. I don't think it's Kokichi. I don't think so either. It's too simple right now. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. Boom! <laughs> what? Huh? What did you? Wait! When did Gonta kill Mew? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. He didn't kill her. Okichi's just lying. You're all falling for it, and I like it. Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta. Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? But I want to because it's been my stupid theory from the start, so I'll believe Kokiji. Yeah, there's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not it's smart. It's my turn now. He's not smart. He's not smart. Huh? The truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the Killing Game Busters! <laughs> busters? We must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan and Gonta carried it out. Gonta what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Because... Going to have no idea what he's talking about. Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. So, Steve? And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Go ahead. Could the whole body swapping thing actually be Kokichi and Gonta? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Not after insect meet and greet incident. I feel, like, I feel like this is a divergent form to have more fun. Okay. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. But he'll spring in a hint which will lead us somewhere. Gota doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. Yeah, I didn't realize strangling people in this world also applied in the real. He's trying to sacrifice Gota to escape from his crimes. He's trying to sacrifice us all if he did it. <laughs> Maybe Gonta wasn't Gonta in like the virtual that. world at all? Because he said it was just like sleeping, right? There was the thing where someone's heads had fucked up. Yeah, there was a glitch. They might have been Gonta. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth. Cut that out. I told you it's not gonna work. Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible. Oh, well, yeah, right. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. All we need is logical thinking. Right, Shuichi? Yep. <laughs> what? Um, going to not understand what's going on. But still, going to not kill Mew. Going to really not know anything. And also... Going to not tell lies, and going to not make trouble for others. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why going to not culprit. Yeah, going to's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. <laughs> I already used my magic to check. Going to's definitely not lying. Emiko, please no. 
Don't defend Bugman. <laughs> then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? You, of course! Maybe we should stop arguing and figure something out. <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought my eyes just went out again. <laughs> Not the culprit. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? Proof. Maybe lie. Who is how Mew is killed? Yep. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. But I know that. Mew would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me. You talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. I don't get it done that. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Hey yep. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strangling her, no problem. Oh, I was gonna run. Yeah. See, I told you I'm not the culprit. <laughs> Still singing story, huh? arrive at that conclusion. Because it's true. <laughs> yeah. If it's already been proven that Kokichi is innocent, we can have evidence of that. Before we can say one way or the other, we have to clear something up. Alright, well, everyone's by on him, and when I prove it wrong, the only one we can go on is Kokichi. <laughs> it's a democracy here. It's not the best system for, you know, a class trial, but it works. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, no problem. That's wrong. Okay, we can actually get rid of Kokichi just entirely. <laughs> can we move on? Actually... Maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? You guys are idiots. <laughs> Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? <laughs> Fucking... Jeez. <laughs> so I would've had to kill her instantly. Such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation. Because it'd be game over if she touched me. What? Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. Yeah, you tie it around her, you tie it, wait five seconds and walk 50 meters away. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck. Then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait, what if it was something besides strangulation then? Like, um, heart attack. There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. Yeah, that's pretty desperate. Mm -hmm. No it's matter sad. how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. The culprit who killed Mew is Gonta Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No! Gonta not kill Mew! It's true! You gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! Honestly, I say, on the right side, Kokiki was with the three gang. The Maki, Us, and Kaito. Or, yeah, Kaito. So he couldn't switch out the cords with Gonta. I believe you. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonto would kill. He won't even kill bugs. Let's not go that far. Mm -hmm. Have you seen spiders? They're not talking about bugs, but they're close enough. <laughs> I believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lie. So we're all but my prediction! Except the Danganronpa said course, spreadsheet is the most important thing. Like him. He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. <laughs> I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? Huh? I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. 
I have this feeling that something's off. <laughs> we can't go back me. and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you wanna suspect Gonta? We should. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to. Oh, the irony! <laughs> it's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survives. Shuichi, going to really not do it. Going to not culprit. I believe in guilty until proven innocent. <laughs> yeah, everyone did it. Please Super Kokichi. <laughs> You wouldn't hurt a fly. Cookie, you can go now. You wouldn't even hurt a bug. You go up and take my all damn spot. <laughs> it would have been better for, for Kibo, but, you know, he's dead it. <laughs> we might as well discuss it. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. Thank you. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. Thank you. You guys, why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. There's only 30 He's smart people just here. To split us up. Shuichi, oh, can we do it? B but two for one truth special. <laughs> Thank you. As soon as so Taito said really he's trying to split us up, Steve and I just looked at each other like. <gasps> split right now. Yeah, I fucking. I, this is my so, favorite new thing in this game. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal. Yeah, we got it. Gonna do that again? I know, right, Mike? Why? Why don't you understand? Kaito, the more you say, this more. I'm... Kaito, I love you, man. <laughs> you, you're my sidekick, aren't you? Uh, Kokiki is my God, second. Kokiki is my second favorite now. Kaito, <laughs> he's dropping, man. He's dropping. <laughs> of course, I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. But as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. It's just us and Kokiki. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find the truth. Which side is Mew gonna be on? No, Kibo's on our side yeah, too. Yeah, it's gonna be us three, probably. Split. <laughs> yeah, so. You really build it. Now, now I know like my theory is pretty much out the window at this point, but I'm still kind of as a last thing it might happen. Just I'm holding on to a little bit of hope. <laughs> Yeah, if Gonta's gone, and like the bottom three are just dead. I was not honestly expecting Gonta. It was more of a joke, but man, oh. maybe. It's impossible. It's it possible. just us three. Yeah, we got Ray Taro. Juichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Culprit. I got this. I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Yes. Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Could that one? Have even made it oh, to the sweetheart. Rooftop the key rooftop. Yeah. The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall. I got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. That was dumb of us. Yeah. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma. Monokuma. Kibo. That is impossible oh. Oh. because right Kokichi's there. avatar had special settings. It's all a lie. No. Kokichi is the one yeah. with Kibo. Wait. That is impossible because <laughs> <Kiki's> <laughs> special Oh wait, no, 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 I think that's right. Gonta yeah. not kill Mew. I got this. The truth is, Gonta, you Gonta killed... could have murdered Mew. Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. When we aren't consistent, our position looks weak. We had to work together. We beat like more than half their arguments, but we still lost. We have to face the truth, even if we don't want to. We have to defend that one. Are you saying that culprit. Gonta is the culprit? I got this. This one's sweet. I'm sure he's the culprit. Don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Look at Kaede, look at Kurumi, the and Kyo. Should have been witnesses at the. I got this. No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was Kokichi. <laughs> we, we didn't get any of Kokichi's arguments the first time around. <laughs> That guy Kibo tells us like what he, what his arguments are beforehand. <laughs> now for the fun part. 
<laughs> X. Oh, shit. Oh, excuse me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Wow, I'm just tired. Three. I think we're told just us against five. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small thing. No, it's not. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gota is the culprit, we have to discuss it. Yes. Yeah. That's ridiculous. What? You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonto? No. Stop saying the B word, all right? <laughs> That's not it at all. I just want the truth. God damn it. <laughs> if we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. What? Gonta telling truth? Gonta really not culprit. We're sorry, Gonta. We have to fucking kill you. Dude, you know I don't want you to be the culprit. <laughs> None of us do. That's, that goes against everything we said on the spreadsheet. <laughs> Everyone put you as a victim or survivor. <laughs> Not a single person thought you'd be the killer. You guys My right. bad, man. If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Don't has an IQ in the double digits. <laughs> That's already me. 742. <laughs> That's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this. There's a dot somewhere in there. <laughs> if you the very beginning. Do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. Logical arguments? Like Sudoku? <laughs> it means use your head to make arguments. Is that crossword? Use head. The thing or on top of your body. What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit. Then you gotta prove that you aren't! But... Gonto really not know? Uh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know! God, why are you so dumb?! Oh my god, oh, man! Go <laughs> Yeah. I like ya. You're number one now. I <laughs> just wanna help everyone, like true gentlemen. I don't think he's gonna beat Kimiko for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. All right, go and take. Just go ahead and kill him, and let's make it really sad. Hey, now that's just bullying. Bullying? Yeah. So what? That's what you do in this game, right? <laughs> no. You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I never ganged up. You all fucking did. <laughs> Gonta, argue back already. Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Hmm? Stop what? You mean stop the game? Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. First come. First come, first served. <laughs> yeah. Maggie, please calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. No, we're mad at Kaito. <laughs> but Gonta telling truth. Gonta really not culprit. Cause Gonta not know anything. Really. Cut it out already! That's all you've been saying this whole time! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're the one that needs to cut it out. Fucking let him... Gonta say something. Wait, what did Kokiji say? They were saying this whole time. That's true about Gonta. Though this whole time, Gonta has been saying he doesn't know anything. Gonta not understand either. Mew liked this when Gonta wake up. Gonta was sleeping too. Had strange dream. Gonta not to understand anything. Gonta not know. Murder already happened when Gonta wake up. But why this happen? Why Mew killed? Gonta not to understand. Gonta not understand anything. <laughs> Cause Gonta have no idea what he's talking about. Well, when exactly did he start using that defense? After logging out of the virtual world. So that? That's it. Yeah. 
That's it. It was after he logged out. Yeah, so he did the click. So my body swapping is kind of riding on hinges at this point. <laughs> Going to get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta, that was... Avatar error. This is it! When we logged into the virtual world, an Avatar user error occurred. Some sort of Avatar user error occurred when you logged in for the first time. An error? The contents of this error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you logged in. An avatar user error? Ever since Gota logged out, he's been saying, I don't know, I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first, but I think it's because of the error. What you mean? That error is what's affecting Gonta and it's making him forgetful and loopy, then what was the error? What could it have been? Swap? Five. I'm not thinking that's fuck. Unplug? Oh, is there a U anywhere? Memory? Memory loss. Memory loss. <laughs> Even for a while. Oh, that's right. Going to did kill Mew. <laughs> now we two F. Says one F. This one down right there. Right there. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> But this memory loss could be because of I believe it's Yeah, it's a heck of a Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! Gonzo told us he was bad with computers, remember? Yeah, here we go. Memory or no memory? Gonta never hurt anyone! That's no way Gonta's the culprit! culprit. Alright. Okay, now let's do this. There's eight of us. <laughs> Doing three debates. No, it's, no, it's totally Don't device injections. Oh my god. Oh, you, you did it, but you don't remember. Never me, kill right? a friend. If there was a glitch, so it's just gentlemen, assume. gentlemen, protect it friends. Have affected I mean, all of us. Your lies aren't protecting anyone. But because we're all okay, okay. Oh, you're you're not right. lying. That means there was a glitch. Oh, swear, please believe me. There was no glitch. Oh my god. I, <laughs> I got to have a problem with my head hurting. And yeah, I hurt my head again. Yeah, that mass panic debate is uh, something else. The cause of the error that affected Gonta's avatar is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Hey, Gonta, what's right? <laughs> Left! Put, put the red con. Put the red consciousness cord in the right port and the blue memory cord in the oh right. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords like Gonta's going to do? I don't know. I've never done that before. Probably could talk lucky or something to Gonta. I think that Gonta messed up something with the cords, causing the error. He ate one of them. <laughs> if he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. And consciousness. And yeah. Like... An error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? Where's my wolf fam- my lizard family? <laughs> what? Gonta, 
Do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Well, if I say yes, then that means Gonta did supposed the kill. How oh, Gonta supposed to remember? That's a good point. <laughs> Gonta's fucking left-handed. <laughs> oh, but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. Oh wow. Uh, that's your left hand. Oh god. <laughs> Looks like it's decided. Gonta don't use chopsticks. He shovel with hands. <laughs> and he uses shovel with left hand. <laughs> He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? We literally just proved. <laughs> Going to not remember. It doesn't mean he's the culprit yet. <laughs> Man, it's not looking good. Go to this virtual world place. What? Going to fall asleep when he put helmet on. When Going to wake up, you dead. Going to not know what happened. So, Going to worry. Going to not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. You all just said, shut up. <laughs> I thought, okay. <laughs> but going to try his best to understand. Going to imagine real hard. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. Going to learn C++. Didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute. That lie. Going to not kill Mew. Because... Why would going to do that? Yeah, it's a lie. I'll never accept this. What if Gonta went over to protect Kokiki because Mew was about to kill him? <laughs> and besides, Gonta's got no motive to kill Mew. Yeah, he does. Mm -hmm. I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you. Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? No. No. Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Look at Ryoma, we didn't call him a blackened. <laughs> then there's Hell no yeah. incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? He gave me 20 bucks. <laughs> Hold on, that hasn't been decided yet. Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already. That's not. I care about the motive. Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Me? Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die, right? And you don't want that, do you? Kind of. Okay, let's begin. I'd like to have Gomes to survive. <laughs> Carry on our around. I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit. Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. I'm hanging out with Kibo and Kokiki from now on. <laughs> so, we can now take Kiboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Yeah, two people I like now. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because they didn't have a motive. <laughs> It didn't have access to the crime scene. They couldn't get to the crime scene, Dude, did they? When Konta said, Konta try real hard, he imagined real hard, I just got hit with a huge wave of sadness. <laughs> like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> the bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Mew could pass through the wall. This is gonna be like the final case in the second game, I see. The three at the <laughs> chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Except for Maki, because he got super young for some reason. <laughs> really weird. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list. And you know why, right? Because he was in the stars. He wouldn't kill anybody. <laughs> he didn't go to the room. Kaito, 
Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? It's not going so. Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. Wait a second. Didn't Kibo say he got the helmet off of Maki? But Himiko came second after Kaito. Like, we don't count Kaito. I don't know, Steve. I think all the twists and turns of this case are pretty much wrapped up. I don't know. We still got like three hours. My yeah. synergy was three hours are going in a loop, you know. Point now. So let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? We have solid alibis. Tsumugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Don't worry, there was a loading screen. It took like five minutes, so Tsumugi <laughs> was really on point. <laughs> because of that, Shuichi and Tsumugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! <laughs> Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? He, he couldn't have killed Mew. Yeah. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And... who was that again? Mew. Yeah, I was gonna say Mew. <laughs> Well, who is it? Don't answer, Shuichi. You don't need to answer that. This is all Kokichi's trap. Yeah, I say, if it's not Kokichi or Gonta, someone is like, holy fucking shit, this worked. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Kaede is just like, yes, it worked. There's only one suspect left. Only one person could have done this. <laughs> Kaito. <laughs> well... Oh my god. It's. It's. Gonta. And Mew's body. <laughs> Shuichi? Yep. Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. The thing you guys wanted so badly! A truth without any lies! Okay, I know this is a courtroom. You don't need to shout. Mew Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara! There's still some details. <laughs> really? Did Gonta really do it? My god, he even convinced Gonta. Jeez, <laughs> is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has got to be Kokichi's trap. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions to. You want proof? I've got your proof. <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, fuck, oh, yeah. He used the toilet paper. He also used the toilet paper yep. as a rub down. <laughs> oh, Shuichi and Sumugi! I just killed Mew! Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? Nope, too busy killing you. <laughs> Don't you not see him. Gonta. Kokichi said it himself. When Mew's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit, it'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. 
It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. No. no. Is that where Shuichi and Sumigi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? Then maybe he jumped off the roof. That's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. Normally, Gota could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gota was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. And the rooftop isn't outside. <laughs> now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. Good. Now we all die. <laughs> what? Really? Oh, don't make him happy. <laughs> it would have been so nice if that was true. <laughs> oh, God, man. If Kaito were right, and this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? The <laughs> roof is outside the, the goddamn mansion! Just, I'll leave the rest to him. Kaito, I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cool that truth may be, we need to face it. To survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? The fucking truth. Yeah, the side of truth. Kaito, please. Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? You gave me that. <laughs> Kaito. Fine then. I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up. I can't doubt my detective work now. If I want us all to survive, I can't back down. Alright. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> Never accept this! Don't you know Gota at all? He's not the kind of guy who kills someone. Don't you know that about him by now? Do I about everyone? This. Don't you know Gota at all? Yeah, don't you know Gota at all? He's not the kind of guy That's who really kills good. someone. Damn it! That weak ass cowbell in the Why middle of it. Why are you listening to Kokichi? Because he's right. Wake up, Joichi. Why won't you believe Gota? Why are you listening I to Kokichi? I don't like these. Yeah, no, these ain't that good. Wake up, Joichi. Yeah. Why Stop don't talking. you believe Gota? I can't wait to see him in like uh very like naked clothing at the end. Oh my god, I've got rid of his arm. Yeah, he's, he's dead believe. now. Remember what Kokichi has done to us. Remember Helped us through several trials. You're doing good. Thank you. That's because I'm not talking for once. Who do you want to believe? I want to believe the fucking truth, guys. Though. Remember what Kokichi has done to us. Remember how Gota's always tried to protect us. How could Gota be the culprit? Still now we're gonna start about the fucking ball. <laughs> Man, oh yeah, look at this. Now it's now the Steven I know and love. <laughs> Who do you want to believe? Damn it! Oh my god. Oh, look at that fist. There's no way to leave the mansion. Toilet the paper discovered time. outside of the mansion. Uh, discovered outside of the mansion. It ends here. Sorry, Kaito. Oh. <laughs> also, why is your space hit like? The why are you outside? Oh, you're the Death Star. The That's what the culprit used to get from the roof to the ground. So I guess no one gets a point for Gonta. <laughs> the toilet paper? I wanted to see Gonta naked after you beat him in like a rhythm <laughs> game. <laughs> The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Mew's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof... Don't say tear. Then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know because... I investigated the roof. Kind 20 of. minutes late. <laughs> You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. 
Of course I am. I'm gonna believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? This are flip upside down. The binoculars. Mm -hmm. There. <laughs> on Muse Corpse. <laughs> the binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <laughs> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They just hung it. He did no rope with the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct. Because I came up with that idea. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I guess he ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. <laughs> As we load up the same cuts <laughs> Oh yeah, that, he did throw something. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Also, if we had, like, more context of the map, we would have realized, like, why the fuck was he there? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. Alright, let's completely change gears and point it on Kibo. <laughs> the matter does appear to be settled. Fuck, I did this. <laughs> Red, it's... So, the truth, don't you? Really kill you. Tyler, can you move your hair? <laughs> with the plan. Anyway, just admit your crime, Gonta. Even though you don't remember, you still did it. But why though? But why did Gonta do such a terrible thing? Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime for Stop. <laughs> I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is going to get him to confess, it's going to be me. It's me. Oh, close Shit. enough. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? Smile at him. When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. But what's a computer? <laughs> Dude, man, I can't handle this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Oh, was it? oh fuck. <laughs> shit, was this other of the top left? Alright, so we gotta get to where Mew got killed. I like to pick your Mew there. Yeah. <laughs> What's this one? Bottle of poison. Before we even went into the virtual world. Right? Okay, good. I was scared for a second because I said that. Cell phone. So they were over there. It takes out of her tits. <laughs> you do. What the fuck is up with Mew? Oh, she's going through the wall. You know, the one that Trump didn't make. It's okay, all right. <laughs> Man, for the virtual world. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we were up to she's here. Dead. Right there. <laughs> Maybe with all the other sled lad I lattices on the fucking one. I tell Momoto logged out. Oh god, look at his face. Uh, uh, yeah, cool. he, he seems horrified about being logged out. <laughs> yep, the hammer there. Hey Pat. Yo. I don't even jinx if I think I didn't get a game over for once. Mew through the signboard in the river. I thought I thought you were gonna say I don't mean to jinx it, but I think you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Kaito Momoto looking for the secret of the outside world. Okay, it's over here. Um, who's the best game dining hall? Roof. Yeah, I'm looking for the fucking roof. <laughs> well, it's but, pointing to where yeah. they're like. I pick you in dining hall. Let's just get the people out of here. Culprit looking for the secret of the outside world. I don't mean to say, but... Hmm... <laughs> they going to actually do it, or was it me? Thinking hard. Okay, so... 
Ooh, Cord on the right. Cord on the All right. right, so we can blame this completely on Himiko. Dude, like, kill Himiko. <laughs> I'm gonna get her in max. <laughs> This is the truth of the case. The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged in to the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory <laughs> and consciousness cords into the device. <laughs> So, we all plug those cords into our helmets, and enter the virtual world. <laughs> but the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. Possible, he's, he's looking us off on their avatar's personality as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, because I I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. I mean, it's like a kind of eight, eh? But <laughs> we had no idea this error even happened, and so we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile. Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison and placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes. Thud. The reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. Active. After we had all logged in, Mew explained the world to us. I like Kiva on this picture. <laughs> Use the salon phone to lock out. Objects are unbreakable. I like how it looks like Kaito has no hands. Senses. For the Kibi art though, they made everyone trying to look like really epic except for Mew and Smoogie. entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. I know. In Kokichi's defense, if he didn't kill her, he was gonna kill him. <laughs> Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But why not he just, like, not go up to the roof? He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. So yeah, I know the exact plan. <laughs> Kokichi was tight lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though, right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. <laughs> Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel, Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. <laughs> After group, while we were heading toward the mansion. Zoom! <laughs> <laughs> Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. 
This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. What? <laughs> uh. She has intentionally locked four people from That's being able to leave the world the ever. Plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. No one went in the bathroom. Kokichi yeah. searched the salon. <laughs> I'm sad. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. Hmm. This is a kitchen. Where you make food. She has no idea what's happening. Look at her. Finally, <laughs> the culprit searched outside Shmoogie. the mansion. So Smoogie made it to the top seven. That's pretty impressive. I guess so, huh? Well, well. Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, <laughs> the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Wait, I don't follow. Could you spend another 30 minutes trying to explain it in various ways? You headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. Tsumugi, if only you had told, like, literally anyone else. <laughs> and by that, I mean only me, because I'm the only one I mattered. <laughs> Boot phone. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. So the fourth case model was for Mew and Gonta, and Koji is shattered with them all, I guess. I feel a little betrayed. Yeah, that's where we're the sidekick. I thought I was cool with a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time. He's in so much pain right now. <laughs> He's being summoned as a Final Fantasy summon. <laughs> what the fuck? I want to infer it. By having Kaito search the roof and then forcing him to log out. She was making him look the most suspicious, but her plan didn't go smoothly. <laughs> That's putting it mildly, I'd say. <laughs> By doing that, you just completely eliminate Kaito as a suspect. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. Can we get Grand Taro's uh, ultimate lab next time? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's getting me going. And, um. And use the Kokichi to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Well, there's still that one on the first floor. Okay, I think it's Kokichi's. That could be, yeah. Because it is a handkerchief. Mew's avatar was oh, I was looking for a, hands up, or a thumbs and up. And shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top. <laughs> that just looks like this looks like a phone. bundle of fur <laughs> or a bag. Oh my god! Why did you give the phone back? Yeah, <laughs> wow. Going to not that smart. Going to not know much about it. Put the phone the over the, in the hammer and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. Please show it again. Please. <laughs> As close up, close up. The body on top of it, the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. Whoosh. <laughs> that was also a good one. Objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. What? That was the huh? crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. 
Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. I know if literally any of us yelled, like, we would have figured it out right away. <laughs> As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. That shit. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. I even do it for the Kibby art style, which makes it even say, Oh, no, God, no. no. Oh, he killed the bugs. That's just his container for Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. Would you not suspect he has like a hundred in there at every single moment? Probably not. Oh, uh, no. Uh. Looks pretty empty to me. Hey, look. Yeah, after he crushed it. <laughs> Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. S sorry. Gonta, not really understand. Dude, no, don't. <laughs> Gonta, not smart boy. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. God! If everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Gonta, trust everyone. But why? Going to kill Mew. Forget everything. Going to even think he not do anything bad. And then going to try to blame someone else and make everyone suffer. So, Monokuma had surveillance cameras in the virtual world too? <laughs> why? Why go to do such terrible things? I mean, he probably had a monitor to like watch it, right? Nah, I'm assuming he gets assuming Suiki will get it right again. <laughs> Gonta, it's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. It doesn't fucking matter here. Huh? I totally didn't trick him. Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? The evidence. For once, I wish that we were. Actually, like, four times. <laughs> Actually, you make it, like, three. Wrecking things up already? Mm, already? What a buzzkill of an ending. It lacks the rush of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. What do you mean? It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. Oh my, Monotaro. You're even starting to look like a father. Yeah! I gotta get my act together for the baby. <laughs> what? I can't tell which one at this point. Yeah, no, both of them seem like they should die. Now then, pull yourselves together and let's begin! What if they both just die? Oh god. Racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! Yeah, so Gonzo was our favorite in the demo, and now there we are voting him in. It's Kaede. Oh my god, Gonzo, can you stay around for a few more? We got this roll like really good. Yeah. We don't Dude, have. Dude, we, we're getting a bingo. We're, we're so close. Wait, where? D diagonal. Oh, fuck yeah. Kaede, bingo. Gonzo, good job, Gonzo. Gonzo. Dude, fuck off, Gonzo. We did it. <laughs> Finally, something went right in this no, virtual room. Hell period. yes. Seems the voting has finished. Oh. It's like 50-50 with us casting the deciding vote for Gonta. And Kyle probably... Kaido voted Kaido for Kaido it. definitely voted Kokichi. Yeah. Oh no. Who will be chosen as the blackened? What do you mean? <laughs> Make the right choice, 
or you... the dreadfully wrong one. You showed it. Yeah. It would have made more sense before you made us vote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I am a little heartbroken, but after Danganronpa 2, where they just did two in a row that really tugged my heartstrings, it's like, I'm used to it now. Oh, fucking hell, man. Just how he was like, don't you try really hard to help, and ah. It hurts, man. Don't worry, I'll suck him later. I don't like this. <laughs> All rise. Free try, perfect. I think I only fucked up once or twice in that entire thing. And <laughs> we still get a B. <laughs> Wait, maybe three times. I, I fucked up, like, one part where it was, like, four choices, and I was just like, oh, yeah, the late test. Oh, wait, it was the body. And then yeah, I... Yeah, Muse Corpse. Right. It was, like, two things, like, very early on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, look at that. You voted correctly. Congratulations, you guys. Let me hear your Give yourself a hand. Voices. Let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Why? Jeez, they're all just moping around. They should be happy for themselves. Joko Kiki. <laughs> I know I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Good question. We should prepare six names. Yay! What? We're having sex tuplets? I'm so happy I might go crazy. And another thing. Hey, Kokichi, you said this would liven things up. What gives, huh? Fuck. You said you were going to liven up the killing game in the class trial. And I said I'd put the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing game simulator. It's in the text file. <laughs> that was just a lie. Oh. Oh. So it was just a lie? What was that? He, he just laughed it off? Hey. Are you satisfied, Kokiki? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? Is it the motive... You gave Gonta. Um, I plan to explain all of it, but it's more like... How do I say it? You guys are just going to assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Then let's have Gonta explain. Huh? Huh? Gonta? Please stop. Gonta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him to... All right. Then we should go... Uh, I'll go back into the killing game simulator. Yeah, that doesn't seem bad. Huh? What? Because... <laughs> Why don't we ask Gonta in the virtual world? But... Going back into the virtual world is... <laughs> There's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. As soon as he gets the memory, fuck you guys. <laughs> I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login... Dude, Monokuma's is such a good hacker. Yeah, he's using a fucking tablet. <laughs> what a heck! Alter ego Gonta is now complete. I still love the Kibby art style. So that means we only kill virtual world Gonta and real world Gonta stays, right? No. Basically, no. it's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. If we listen to what he says, we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Huh? What this? What happening? We just carried that around. We have gone to with us forever. Fuck yeah, dude. Debs. Huh? Is this Gonta? Huh? <laughs> is this Gonta? What's that mean? Oh, I see. Our phenomena is this. What did you do? Hey, um. Relax, Inigo. It's not magic, and it's not a trick. Alter ego Gonta is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonta's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real Gonta. Um, Gonta not understand. Who is this alter ego person? Now then. See? It's even stupid like the real Gonta. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's got Gonta's memory of the virtual world, so he should remember what happened. Please. Th then, other Gonta. Tell Gonta. Why? Why? Why did Gonta kill Mew? Huh? Kill Mew? What does other Gonta know about? Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell him the truth now. Oh. Gonta... Gonta no could save everyone? Huh? Save everyone? Gonta don't hey, know. answer Gonta. Why did Gonta kill Mew? Wrong. Gonta just want to save everyone. 
He wanted to save everyone? That's... Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta... Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta strong, but no can't fight Exesols. Um... Gonta feel frustrated, because Gonta no could do anything. <laughs> Gonta understand how this Gonta feels. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person, yeah? But... So that's why Gonta think he had to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it, because everyone else not want to. Gonta... So Gonta kill Mew. What? what do you mean by that? I don't get it at all. Oh. Jeez, Gonta is bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um... So, if you remember what happened at that time... No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening... Eoink, I'll take that key card then. So Kiki used his leaf body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. Huh? The card key? So you used it. Yeah. After working tirelessly, I finally found the door for the card key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world? What? That was Monokuma's motive? But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? Hmm. I'll tell you guys in a second, but that was when I found out about Mew's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combined the two, then I'd be able to save everyone. Please wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? Hey, hey, hey. now, you gotta listen to everything I say first. Um... Anyway, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma. If I livened up the killing game... <laughs> then he would let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? Again? Let me chime in. The motive card key that Kokiji nabbed was the right to view the outside world. But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokiji suggested that we reuse the motive. He said that we should bring back the right to view the outside world one more time. And I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded a flashback light with the memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Memories of the outside world in the flashback light? What? The secrets of the outside world in the virtual world was about the flashback light? You know. And if it was the flashback light, it would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. What are you saying? Oh, uh, I get it. Wait. What? Um, they wouldn't get the flashback light if a killing didn't happen, yeah. so going to kill to a... But why would anyone... Uh, why would anything about the outside world be a motive in the first place? What's going on here? Oh? Huh? You can't remember? Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about the motives later. We have to finish up this case first. Um... Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I showed it to Gonta in the virtual world. Hey! You even knew where it was hidden? That's not fair. Well, room. I just placed it. I never actually said I hid it. Too bad. If anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. Fuck. <laughs> it's a little late for that, yeah. So Gonta was exposed to the flashback light. Um. Yeah, when Kokiki and Gonta leave together. It was on the front porch. <laughs> but Gonta can, can watch Kokichi, so he not do anything weird. Gonta, you're so sweet, but I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? <laughs> With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go. Ah, uh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay, leave it to Gonta. Gonta keep eye on Kokichi. Was Kokichi trying to lure Gonta off by himself? Yeah. Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret of the outside world was Gonta. Gonta. How did that Gonta get taken to forest near Mansion? <laughs> Is this flashback play? It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it? We gotta tell everyone! Wait! Are you sure you want to believe a liar like me so easily? <laughs> huh? This might be a trap, you know? Shouldn't we check if I'm lying first? 
I mean, you want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. P protect everyone? <laughs> and that Gontha remembers secret of outside world. But that just confused Gontha more about what to do. What can Gonto do to save everyone? Gonto no could think of anything. Oh, or maybe he thinks, uh... Maybe he realized how bad the outside world was, so he wanted everyone to die, because that's the better yeah. option. So I told him. If he wants to save everyone, he should just put everyone out of their misery. In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? Wait, from Elberach? But he's support. No way. <laughs> was Gonto tricked? Wrong. No, you are you not tricked. Because when Gonto remembers Secret of Outside World, Gonto think it would be easier to die. What? Remember what everyone said at the beginning? That this academy is hell? Gonto agree. Academy that forced students to be part of killing game is hell. So everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? What do you mean, Gonta? Inside the cell, outside the cell, what can Gonta and friends live for? And everyone who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside and hell inside? And then Kokiki tell me. Best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of misery while they still not know. And only one who could do such dirty work is going to. Yeah. That's right. The only way to save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial, he would have lived in this hell alone. You get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? Hold on. Wait a minute. I still don't get what's happening. All right, let's run through the case one more time. <laughs> what outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there. What do you mean? What did Kokiki and Gonta see? What did we forget? Hey. Hurry up and tell us, or else we won't be able to understand it. Right? Gonta, what pushed you to do such a thing? Please. Answer, Gonta. Sorry. Gonta no can tell you. Why? Can't tell us why. Because if Gonta will tell you, then everyone will end up like Gonta. Everyone. Despair. Huh? Despair? I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think that kind Gonta would tell you about such despair from his own mouth? But now, but now we don't know any more than when we started. Now you know how Gonta and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? Then, can't you accept everything about this case? You can imagine the rest, right? I used Mew's plan and turned it against her. I hid Gonta away from sight where Mew and I were supposed to meet. <laughs> huh? Kaido's not here? Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm honored you asked me to meet up with you, Mew. Is this a booty call? <laughs> or are you here to kill me? So, you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I make care of it when I program your settings. Oh, oh! Uh-oh, guess I'm in trouble now. I I'm sorry, but you should just give up. This is my only chance. I have no choice but to do this. My inventions will change the world. They'll make the world a better place. It's my duty as a genius inventor, so, so I can't afford to die here. So jeez. So, sorry! Don't just so sorry! <laughs> Don't be sorry, Gonta. She was trying to kill me too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize. Go to sorry. Go to so sorry, Mew. I already said you don't need to apologize. We had to do this for everyone, Saki. It can't be. Go to would never. By the way, you should know that it was Gonta's idea to slide the body to the chapel. Wow, fucking really? Yeah, that was good. Nice. Huh? What? Gonta's idea? Gonta. Before Gonta to rope, he happened to see. Mew walk through the wall. Gonto tell Kokiki, and you think of everything else. But... Gonta gave me that chance. I like to think we made a pretty good team. Stop it! Good? What's good about that? You're the worst! Oh. 
Um, that's whole story. That's everything that happened. Well, so in the end, you don't plan to tell us the secret of the outside world? No, Gonto no can tell you that. Well, I mean, hearing that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Kokichi. How can this be? But Gonta did kill Mew. Gonta really did it. Sorry. Everyone, Gonta is so sorry. Don't tell. <laughs> but Gonta's plan to save everyone fail. Gonta not save anyone. Gonta can make everyone suffer more. Gonta, it, idiot. Gonta is stupid. So stupid. How can Gonta call himself gentleman? Everyone, please forgive him. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. But you reached for the truth, and Gonta's plan failed. All of you could have saved, could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Huh? So you're saying it was wrong to fight for the truth? Yeah. Yeah, it was. At least Gonta and I think so. And you should have all died ignorant. Gonta even killed Mew for that Saki, you know. Enough of your shit, you made him kill her. Please no, stop. Gonta is bad. Because Gonta kills someone, Gonta is murderer. It's true. <sighs> yes, Gonta make everyone suffer. That is true. Sorry, everyone. Gonta is sorry he failed everyone. Gonta is sorry for being stupid. Gonta is sorry for me make everyone suffer. Gonta is so sorry. <laughs> we, we get it. You don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not Gonta, right? Everyone hates me, so the role of the villain is perfect for me. I know that. Yeah, I know already. It should have been my responsibility. But when I realized Mew was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. And in fact, you are right. She set it up so you could paralyze you with just a touch. So That's why I had to ask Gonta. I would have done it myself if I could. That's okay, but you didn't need to push everything onto Gonta to... Please stop. stop. It's okay. <laughs> Everyone, please. Don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. Gonta, you... How nice can you be, Gonta? You really are stupid sometimes. <laughs> You're right. Gonta, as stupid as Gonta, could never be a gentleman. Hey, so, are we done yet? What? You guys are starting to talk in circles, so let's just move on to the exciting stuff. Yes, the eagerly anticipated punishment time! So am I! Wait, if you're gonna punish him, then please, punish me too! Kokichi? I know I'm prepared for it. If you're gonna execute Gonta, then I... Alright, you can switch. It's okay, Kokichi. Please let Gonta sacrifice himself for everyone's sake. That's all Gonta can do anymore. What? Just promise Gonta that everyone forgive each other and be friends, okay? <laughs> Alright, I promise. Okay. Alright, it's time to punish the ultimate entomologist, Gonta Gokuhara! Mm. Oh man, I bet his punishment's gonna have a lot of gross, nasty bugs. <laughs> ah. That's right, you don't like nasty stuff! You better not pick up the baby. She's giving birth. It's coming! Yeah. What? Already? <laughs> the contractions are speeding up any minute now! Honey! Quick, hold my hand! No. I, per I prepared a very special. I really love the guys' bugs and suits. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, please! I don't want this! Don't go, Gonta! No. Don't cry, Kokiki. Gonta is okay. <laughs> yeah. Gonta not cry. Gonta's really not scared. But How can this Gonta be? upset. Gonta upset. He no could protect everyone. Gonta, you you can't cry either. It's punishment time. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time Sorry. Gonta everyone. love you all. Gonta is so sorry for being stupid. Yeah, so so far all the killers have had, like, mo good motives except for Kyo. <laughs> like, yeah, I wanted to kill the mastermind. I wanted to kill for the country. I wanted to kill to kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> all very good motives. Gonta also wanted... Oh my god, we're in the Wild West. Gonta wanted to kill to kill you all, too. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Steven, what time is it? I think it's, like, a little close to noon. 
What? Yeah, it's high noon. Oh, yeah, look at that. You McCreed him. Wild West insecticide. <laughs> no, oh, Jesus. God. Oh, it's gonna explode out of her. Alright, that's one way to get rid of her. Oh, going to. Oh, man, look at Maybe that. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, my God. Oh, he's getting an infection. <laughs> it's just getting bigger. Oh, are they both gonna pop? <laughs> um. Oh, oh my god! Dude. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it was both of them. Oh. Man. Man. Good thing Monokuma planned this all. Hell yeah, dude. What if Gonto just, like, survived somehow? No, that's not how you do it. I don't think I'll have to worry about that. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh hey, the ultimate pyromancer showed up just in time. Oh man, and we're killing Celeste too, apparently. So Monokuma, the fuck did you make Monofanny pregnant like that for? Surprised? What a twist, huh? Hey, even I didn't see that coming. Oh my little cubs have been destroyed. <laughs> Wow, so sad. All that cuteness gone to waste. Why? What are you talking about? You're the one responsible for all this. Well, why would you do such a thing to your own children? Because lately they've been acting all buddy buddy and neglecting me. Yeah. I'm never gonna get the hang of this whole parenting thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. What's the matter now? We don't have the time to give him attention. Anyway, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids. <laughs> Later! Okay, Mono Kid was innocent this entire time. <laughs> Mono Kid bullied Mono Damn. Go home to. Go home to. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Why did it turn out like this? Got a minute? Hey, Gokiki, why don't you tell us now what is the secret of the outside world? If we don't know it, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? We destroyed the flashback light. The side effect, I'll get started immune in there. <laughs> what kind of secret would push Gonta that far? Kokichi, if you really care for Gonta, explain yourself to everyone and... I don't want to. You what? I don't want to, stupid head. Kokichi... <laughs> oh man, no. did you fall for all that fake crying? Know. You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta! What? Fake crying? Again? Because? If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. That would have interfered with the game, so I simply lied to calm him down. Oh yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> See, as long as you lie for a good purpose, right? What do you mean? What really happened? Why did you make him do that? Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What are you? I gave Gonta an incentive because I thought it would liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone like what Gonta did... I wouldn't have betrayed Gonta. You should have realized that. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Then why did Gonta... <laughs> Who cares about that idiot? Oh, I did. Yeah. I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Kokichi gave us one of his creepy smiles. One of his many. <laughs> when I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. His entire body, nothing but raw and unfeathered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be You never said that last part. <laughs> You just said ultimate supreme leader, all right? I thought you were just like the ultimate supreme leader KFC. Yeah. <laughs> there are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill. I think I feel like I've heard that quote somewhere before. <laughs> Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others. Uh, it was something like, "What do we do when we fall off the horse, Master Wayne?" <laughs> so, seriously, like, who the hell do you think you are? Then, so, for your own entertainment, you sacrificed Mew and Gonta. They were two of our favorite characters, down. asshole. Yeah. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money, right, Maki Roll? Oh, yeah, but keep up, retort. 
bastard. Someone like you has no right. To call <laughs> <laughs> Someone like you has no right to call me Machiro. Do you want to die? <laughs> you look so much better with a scowl on your face, Machiro. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If only you had suspected me more, then. <laughs> Mew and Donta wouldn't have died such meaningless deaths. Don't meaningless deaths? Haito screamed and sprinted up to Hokiki like a bullet. Wham. <laughs> Adolfa resounded through our skulls. Oh, fuck. Oops. Sorry. I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. <laughs> Kaito. He's a kung fu master. <laughs> The ultimate supreme leader of the dojo down the street. They have really good rates on their karate lessons. Yes, by the way, Kato, is it just me? Or are you way slow? Maybe. Just maybe. Kaito is hiding something from us, too. The secret of the outside world as well, and a hostile and all terminally ill. Shit. <laughs> Kaito! Are you okay? Kaito kept coming at him, and Monkey glared at Kokiki with piercing eyes. If someone claims to be bad at fight, you were pretty aggy, all right, just now. <laughs> Did you believe a lie like that? You, you really want to die, don't you? Let's have more fun. Oh, did I provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaito? Maki. No, Maki. <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose uh, her cool for a guy like Kaito. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Look, well, Kiki never got to finish his provocation. Sorry. No oh. one cared what he had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaito's side. Right? Kaito, are you hurt? Uh, are you alright? Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? Sorry. Well, I am he's at zero, so I can't use any recovery <laughs> magic. Oh? Hey, what are you all so worried about at this pathetic get- That's wrong. Pathetic, look at yourself, Kokiki. Mm -hmm. What? Kaito always had- has us by his side, see? But no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kukiki, and you always will be. <laughs> what are you talking about, friends? Friends don't make this game more interesting. Oh, Jeez. Man. Boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore, but I will tell you this. <laughs> I'm the one who will win this killing game. The one who will win is me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. God, I like him. <laughs> yeah, really, he's very really motivated. Man, he's a, such good personality. Kokiki sat out those words and then left the room. He's so charismatic. Kaito. Are you okay? Hey, Kaito? Hey. You don't look well. It didn't seem like he punched you that hard, but... What? Did you hit your head or something? I'm okay. It's fine. Okay. Don't push yourself. You should lay down and... I... I, I said I'm fine. Kaito tried to get up, but... Urgh. Kaito doubled over his knees, gave out, and he collapsed hard. <laughs> cough. Cough, cough. What? K Kaito? What? Why? What's the matter, Kaito? Come on. Don't freak out about <laughs> this. It's nothing. My cold just got worse as I'm all. just coughing up my cold blood. It'll get better after it's done. I don't know. That coughing up blood was a cold symptom. <laughs> You're a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. I just coughed too much and cut my throat or something. I don't know. I just spoke. He somehow got to his feet. He was already on his feet. Uh, yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. S sorry, but I'm gonna head back to my room. Kaito. Okay, I'll go with. Shut Don't up. follow me. Huh? What? Uh... Oh, he. Yeah, all right. I can walk on my own. I don't need your help, Suiki. Well, Kaito <laughs> staggered off. He gets find like a wiggler like, who killed Kaito. Oh, <laughs> uh, probably out of blood. Well... I'll go with him. It would be bad if he collapses on the way. Um... Right. We'll leave it to you then. Hey, don't worry about it, Shuiki. Kaito is just stressed out is all. So... Why? You three. Yeah. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought I thought it could help. I want us all to survive. 
And I wanted it so damn bad, I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. And this is what I get. But, are uh, you trying to survive? We're just playing the stupid game. Just like Okiki. Damn it! Don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. I'll end it. Now is the time. <laughs> I guess the entire building blows on. I was like, oh fuck. Yeah, well, it's kind of mocking made out, and I know it was me. <laughs> I'll end this killing. Oh, game. sweet. Thanks, dude. Yeah. He's doing a lot better than the others. This world is mine, Kokichi Oma. Oh. Going to see letters. <laughs> well, I guess we're just all in purgatory with Kokiki, and Kokiki is the devil. I gotta say. I don't think your theory is right, Steve. I don't like how on the left side it's just me and Kokiki left. Yeah. The right side is doing really well for now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to, like, jump the gun, but I think your theory might be wrong about... <laughs> Obtain the empty insect cage. Uh, oops. Virtual remake. Alright, so everyone, I hope you enjoyed that chapter. I got a little annoyed with trial, but I thought it was the best ending thus far. Dude, I'm so fucking bummed over that. That was... <laughs> you know, tugging on the heartstrings is what a good game does, right? And you know yeah. what this means. Michael still has zero points. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Mike... Steve, throw up that spreadsheet and just look at all the red on Mike's area right yeah, now. Yeah, just look at it. He has seven people left and... The only survivor he has left is Smoogie. All right, man, man, we all got going to wrong, kind yeah. of. I mean, as soon as I figured out, like, he's not going to survive, so I just put victim, and I was like, wait, Michael put victim. Yeah. That can't be true then, so it's killer. <laughs> all right, everyone. Well, that's about what we got to call it for. I'm excited to see what this next, uh, what this next chapter is going to be. I can't wait be. for Kokiki to end the game by just getting it to Summer Keegan or something. Yeah, pull, pulling out Nagito and killing himself to save us. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. Bye, everyone.